Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Wednesday, October 4th. I'm Sean Humphrey, and welcome to WCTZ News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For real. Starting off with clubs, there is a comedy club meeting this Friday during Power Hour B for all high school students in room 15104, Mrs. Horst room. National Junior Honor Society is extending the membership drive for any interested 7th, 8th, and 9th graders. If you would like to join, pick up an application in Mr. Rahab's Portable 3. All applications must be turned in by next Wednesday. Since the nine weeks are ending and students are stressed, here are some tips to help cope with that. Watch a movie, bake cookies, cloud watch, and talk it out with someone. Now to Travis McClendon for a segment regarding basketball conditioning. The boys high school basketball program starts their preseason conditioning this Saturday morning at 7.45. They have matched that competition and level of excellence that they play at. So we're going to need to run, we're going to need to play, practice, do everything we can just to get up to that level of intensity. More on this is senior forward Khalil Paul. Well, this year we're going to be really short, so we're going to have to be running up and down the court and pushing the ball. So we're going to have to have a lot of stamina. We lost nine seniors, and I'm hoping to be a good leader and help lead the team to a winning season. This has been Travis McClendon reporting for WCTZ News. Stay tuned for a package by Matt SG about 3D printers. As a new addition to the West Shore Science Department, Ms. Mileta received two 3D printers as part of a GE grant. As a science teacher, we get notifications all the time about different grants and things that are available for science teachers. And we received one for um, polar, print, uh, polar 3D printers. So I went ahead and applied, even though I didn't really have much experience with 3D printers. We got selected. They gave us two 3D printers and some curriculum to go with it. Along with the 3D printers, Ms. Mileto received a year's supply of printing thread. Um, maybe we could use them to like, like make dissection things instead of using like actual animals. You could dissect like parts out of a 3D printer or something like that. Ms. Mileto is looking for ways to introduce the printers to students outside of her classes. So, and I also was thinking, you know, because I like to get it used all the time, is to having like a Tinker CAD club kind of or a you know, makerspace type thing where kids can come in after school, design things, and they want to print and, and print. This has been Austin Hayes, Jacob Kent, and Matt SG reporting for WCTZ News. And now for the first WCTZ blooper reel. <laughs> Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Thursday, August 31st. I'm Jesse Shaw, and welcome to the... <laughs> Now to Jacob Kent with her segment regarding her <laughs> oh <laughs> I started thinking about farts in my head. <laughs> I don't know. Have a hurricane-y day, Wildcats. <laughs> Be safe. Um, seems like you so far away. Jared, like sit. There we go. The 12th grade students who wish to be a in the J.A.B. Entrepreneurial Club should meet in Miss McClayton. <laughs> what even is that? The J.A.B. Entrepreneurial Club? Yeah. yeah. Did I pronounce that right? In room 15104. <laughs> ben! <laughs> Power Hour A in 15... <laughs> Single players will be randomly assigned apartment. Partner. <laughs> Did you say an apartment? <laughs> <laughs> apartment. apartment. Single players will be randomly assigned a partner. Five <laughs> I can't, we're doing it tomorrow. <sighs> Is, am I set up good, fine? Oh, cats. Today is Tuesday, August 27th, 9th. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now for a video compiled by Daily Man regarding Miss Rome's class play. Stay tuned for after the credits for the alma mater. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of WCTZ News. This has been Sean Humphrey, and have a fantastic day, Wildcats.